Fight fam, welcome to the highly anticipated trilogy fight between Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman, and Leon Rocky Edwards. Fighter predictions. These two top-ranked welterweights have faced each other twice before, with Usman emerging victorious in their first meet, up by unanimous decision, and in second time, Leon brutally knocked out Usman. Let's find out what other UFC fighters think will go down in this trilogy match. First, let's get into what UFC President Dana White wants to say about this fight and about Kamaru Usman. He should be focused and he should be doing everything he can to prepare and be ready for this fight. Um, you know, he won, <laughs> he won four rounds and four minutes, you know, of the, of the last fight and, and, and ended up losing. So it makes sense for him to be quiet and focused and ready to roll. And let's get into what Joe Rogan thinks about this fight. It's hard to say, man, because when you watch a guy like Leon Edwards realize that he could KO Kamara with one shot, yeah, and then he pulls it off and did it, and also took him down in the first round. Now yeah. he's the champion. He's got that championship confidence, that championship rub. Yeah, you know, like who knows? Uh, I, Kamaro, Kamaro is famous for having knee problems. Like he has horrendous knees. Yeah, he can't even walk down steps, right? Yeah, he, he walks guys down walk steps backwards. backwards. Yeah, which is crazy that. The when he fights, he puts that all out the window. But when Leon took him down, he tripped tripped him on his bad knee. Yeah, like, I mean, both of his knees are fucked, but one of his knees is worse. And he trips him on his bad knee, and his knee folds over, and he goes back down. And you know, Kamara's been pretty open about it, saying, "I don't know how much longer my body's going to hold up." Yeah, he's also been pretty open about the fact that when his career is done, he's probably going to get his knees replaced. He's probably going to have to. <sighs> I mean, his knees are chewed up, man. Yeah, real bad. Former two-division champion UFC welterweight and middleweight George St. Pierre also shared some thoughts about this fight. Kamaru was winning the fight, but he made a crucial mistake that is unforgettable at this level. He zigged when he should have zagged, and, and credit to Leon Edwards, he did a beautiful setup that was amazing, and he won the world title. And now they're going to have a rematch, uh, hopefully, and, and we'll see, you know, but Things change, you never fight the same fighter twice. You can fight the same name twice, but you never fight the same fighter twice. Every fight leaves a scar. It could be for the best or for the worst. And after a loss, very often we see fighters that a loss can affect their confidence. And a confidence is very important for a fighter because you can have all the skills in the world, but if you don't have confidence, it's like someone who has a lot of money in his bank account but no way of accessing it so for the magic to happen you need the skills and the confidence so we'll see how mentally strong is Kamaru Usman and if he comes back and wins the title I think he will add up to his legacy even more so but it's gonna be a, a hell of a fight a hell of a challenge Let's get into UFC lightweight contender and one of Kabaru Usman's training partner's prediction for this fight. I mean, Kamal was the better fighter. You know, we saw that in that fight. Um, the reason we all love this sport is because of what happened. When you're on Leon's side of that, there's nothing better in the world. Um, other than maybe to have a children, I don't have those, so that might be better, but that, there's gonna be hard to top that. And winning the lottery, probably ain't gonna top that. So, uh, um, I think, that I think it's a dangerous fight for Kamaru, more dangerous than his last fight with him. You know, the confidence is such a big factor in the sport and Leon's gonna have you know, very high confidence. So um, ultimately I think, you know, other than that it factor, Kamaru wins. Thank you. And he, uh, he allowed, he, he made mistakes in that final, final round, final moments. You know, he wanted to, um, to knock somebody out more than win. And when you're at that level, you cannot, you cannot make those choices. Gilbert Burns also gave his thoughts about this fight. Leon is not an altitude where, where Leon trains in London. And Leon did very good in the first round. I was impressive with the takedown, mount, taking the back. But I think he failed a little bit second, third round. Now going to the second fight, there's no altitude in London. That's freaking Leon's house, you know? Shit, I think, I think it's a 50-50 fight. I think it's gonna be super, super close. If I gotta give the advantage, it's gonna be a little bit from Leon because no altitude on this time. Great camp at home. 
He even said that he didn't feel good and he did what he did, the way he did. I give, I think it's gonna be a 50-50, maybe a little bit more to Leon Edwards, I think. He's in a good moment right now. He's young, he's hungry. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my eyes on this fight. Here's what Thompson thinks will go down. I do believe that Leon Edwards has the ability to make it happen again. But like I said, I think we're gonna, we're dealing with a, a fired up Boozman. Um, and they're going to be fighting in London, which is going to be in Leon's hometown. So I think Usman's going to bring it. On paper, I've got Usman, but I do believe Leon can win it. He can finish him again. Henry breaks down his thoughts. But the biggest question for me is, can Kamaru Usman really come out of that knockout? I, I do believe that Matt is hungry. I've had a chance to speak to him. He's taken the loss. He's like, Henry, I've lost in wrestling. And we all know as wrestlers, like, Nobody in wrestling would ever go undefeated. Nobody, sure. you know, because it's a, it's a it's a unique sport that's so competitive, and it's so tough. So that being said, it's like Henry, I got this monkey off my back. I don't feel that pressure no more, and I got a chip on my shoulder once again. And that is a dangerous Kamaru Usman. Here's Hill's predictions. So, I, whenever I look at this, I look at it the same way I look at it the first time. What Kamaru does, Kamaru's advantage is a huge advantage. Uh, the, the grappling and things like that is, is, is a big advantage to Kamaro. But um, I think Leon's just more well-rounded. He's a better fighter, complete. Um, he just has that time and that, that knowing what to do, you know what I mean, and things like that. Now that he's felt him and he's, he understands now how to keep the fight standing, I could easily see Leon, I could see Leon winning the game, but... Um, I'm gonna go with Kamaro. Kevin Lee shares his prediction. Kamaro, Kamaro for sure. Uh, I, I think he, he he got caught sleeping and he's gonna be wide awake for this one. Let's get into what the UFC middleweight contender, Kevin Holland wants to say about this fight. It's three. I, I, I got Leon winning that fight. Uh, Usman's a great athlete, great fighter. Uh, you know, I heard they took out his, uh, he actually had a bigger role in, in uh, Wakanda, but I heard they took it out because his role was him head kicking somebody and then he got head kicked. So it was just kind of like a one of those things where they didn't want to fucking do that to him, you know, and mess with his head. So, uh, yeah, I think Leon gets it done again. Head kick, probably. Or probably a punch this time. Or maybe a submission. I don't know. <laughs> he just gets it done. <laughs> Let's see what Kenny Florian thinks. Um, you know, Camaro, uh, it's really tough to see, um, you know, what kind of adjustments he's going to make. Can he make those adjustments? Absolutely. I think he knows what he's getting himself into now with Leon Edwards. I think he's going to train harder than ever, smarter than ever. Um, you know, his wrestling is so tough to stop. If he's able to do that, I, I think it's going to be another decision for Kamar Usman. But um, I think for Leon Edwards, you know, you forget uh, that there's a guy that won the first round. Uh, both guys were fresh. Leon looked phenomenal in that first round, uh, was able to get a takedown, get in the mount position, took his back, uh, was controlling the action. On the feet, um, I thought he was doing a very good job, um, obviously. And, and then, um, you know, in the wrestling is where he was kind of failing a little bit. So, I don't know, it's hard to tell. This was a fight that took place. This first fight took place at high altitude. High yeah. altitude will do crazy things to some of the best fighters in the world. So, I, I don't know right now if I'm leaning a certain way. I'm leaning towards Kamar Usman due to his consistency. But uh, maybe this is a guy in Leon Edwards that uh, a lot of us are sleeping on. Um, so, I don't know. The one thing's for sure, he is the more technical fighter. I think he's more skilled. Uh, in, in various Former middleweight champ and now UFC commentator Michael Bisping also shared his thoughts about this fight. To this one, it's a tough one for Kamaru Usman because a lot has changed for him. Because the reality is, look, listen, Kamaru being the champion, being the dominant guy, you know, always has that upper hand on everybody. But coming into this one, the times have changed, the tables have turned, and now it is Kamaru walking in second, okay? Oh, sorry, walking in first, pardon me. Okay, Leon gets to walk last in front of his people, in front of his nation, everyone cheering for him. Kamaru's going to be the, the baddie, the bad guy. He's going to be the guy going up against a hostile crowd. Now, look, listen, he's a strong guy mentally and physically, so that, that isn't going to matter too much. But it's all these little things together. So, of course, he's going to be, you know, he's not going to be the favourite. 
uh, according to the crowd, okay? He's going to go in first, so he's going to be standing there in the octagon whilst Leon walks out. And it's only a little tiny thing, but trust me, these little things can make a difference. He's not used to doing that. Of course, this time, it's not going to be at elevation, okay? This isn't an easy fight. This is a guy, Kimari Usman, with a record of 20 and 2. It's a very tough fight. Uh, and how will, will Leon do? We don't know. It's a tough fight for both men. Could go either way. Let's get into Jack Della Magdalena's prediction. Leon's going to, I think Leon can do it again. You know, I think he's probably, I think for rematches, the, when the younger guy wins the first time, I think he's probably going to win the second time. And I think he's got the skill set to do it. And I think, honestly, I think it's uh, Usman's time has been. And yeah, I think uh, Leon will get the win. Finally, we are moving into what Leon Edwards and Kamara Usman want to tell about their fight. Yeah, I feel like there come a, a time in, in just in sports in general where there's, there's a pass at the baton, right? And I feel like it, it's me. You know, I've said it from time and time again and uh, I've proven it. I, I respect Usman as a competitor. I know he's. I know he's a good fighter, I'm not the, like deluded. I know he was the power of power number one and um, I know he's good, but I just truly believe that I, I am better, you know, and just, I proved, I proved it last year and I'll, mm -hmm. I'll prove it again come March. You know, I can't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw that energy from the crowd. I'm gonna draw the confidence from me, knowing that I can knock him out, mm -hmm. knowing that I can take him down. I'm drawing all that confidence going into the next fight and I'm using all that to, yeah, for another headshot. Everybody. Feeling good, you know, it happens to the best of us. Of now and again, you know, something like that happened. But congrats to Leon Edwards, Leon Rocky Edwards. Congrats. You know, what a way to pull it out, you know. And, um, you know, like I say, I see you soon, boy. See you soon. UFC 286 is approaching very soon and looks like MMA community is divided in their opinions. But what do you think? Will Usman reclaim his title or will Leon successfully defend his belt? 